Next up at UFC Vegas 84, we have the main card opener. We have Phil Hawes taking on Bruno Fajeda. Phil Hawes, 36 and 7. It's the fucking stupid ass dog barking at God knows what. Phil Hawes, 36 and 17 overall. Two and three in his last five. He is coming off back to back knockout losses. He's taking on Bruno Fajeda. This guy is 10 and 1 in his career, 4 and 1 in his last five, coming off his first career loss. Phil Hawes, we've broken him down a bunch of times. This guy's phenomenal wrestler, phenomenal athlete. He's very good everywhere. He's got no chin. Stupid dog. He's got no chin, but he is very good everywhere. If you watch his striking, his striking is good. He was out striking Chris Curtis before he got caught. He was out striking uh, Ikram Aliskirov before he got caught. His wrestling, as we know, is phenomenal. D1 wrestler accomplished all the things. He... Used to have cardio issues early in his UFC career. No longer seems to have cardio issues. We saw that in the Duran win fight. And Phil Hawes is very tough, very fast, very explosive. Hits very hard, very athletic, very technically sound. All the things. His chin is his biggest issue. He has no control over that. It is what it is. He's taking on Bruno Fajeda. This guy is a powerful striker who is light on his feet, constantly mixing up his attacks. He's going to bounce on his toes, and that helps him move in and out of the pocket really well. He's got incredible spinning techniques and a whole bunch of finishes on his record. Even though he is fast, even though he's a powerful striker with all finishes, he's not reckless. He can be a low-volume guy because he is waiting for some of those spots. He can grapple as well, powerful takedowns, slick BJJ, but mostly a striker. He is coming off that finish loss to Nurzeltin Ruzaboyev, where he was taken down for the first time in his UFC career, and he didn't seem to know what to do that with, with that. Nurzeltin took him down, seemed a little bit out of sorts, beat him up a little bit, sort of quit on himself. Phil Hawes can absolutely do that. He can absolutely do that in this fight. I hate picking Phil Hawes in fights. I hate breaking down Phil Hawes fights because he is almost always the better fighter. Just skill for skill. like phys- He's o- literally almost always the better fighter. And then his chin gets touched, and, and he cannot help that. There's nothing that's he almost, can do to fix that. Man, that's almost 50 fights of being a better fighter. But I'm, I'm, am I like I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I'm, I'm like, not I'm exaggerating serious. either. Oh, I mean, okay. I thought you. I mean, no, I mean that's almost fifty. He's been almost almost fifty fights, and he's been a better fighter. Yeah, the record's time. wrong. I get it. I get it. Is that what, what the fuck we're doing here? I typed the number wrong. What a fucking joke. You do the graphics. You do them. Oh, you uh, used to. That, and then uh, quit. How about a like on the stream right now for this new yeah, thumbnail? Huh? Yeah, that's I'm what like, I thought. How many anyway, times did you touch yourself that thumbnail? Be honest. It's, I mean, it's a decent thumbnail. It's not. That's uh, not what you were saying in the. Uh, on I Face like time. the neck. People seem to like the neck tattoo era. Anyway, I think Phil Hawes is the better fighter in this matchup. This will be my last ride with Phil Hawes. I am going to pick him to win this fight. Um, we watched Bruno get taken down and sort of beat there. We've seen Bruno be low volume in the striking, and if Phil Hawes can let his hands go for just a half a second and then wrestle, 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 wrestle. He can win this fight. Hopefully, two knockouts in a row. Obviously, the one knockout to uh, Roman Delize, less of a knockout, more of a... Like, yes, he was knocked out, but, I mean, Roman blew that dude's knee out. Yeah, and I had fucking submission. (laughs) Fucking, we were on the stream. It was fucking locked and loaded for Roman by sub, and then... You let him up. (laughs) No, sorry about you. Beautiful takedown from Phil, though. So this is going to be my last ride with Phil. I am picking him to win here. He's the better fighter. He's going to have more accurate striking. He'll be just as powerful. He's going to have better wrestling, all except the chin. The chin's the one worrisome thing. Let's hope the two losses in a row puts his chin down, wrestles his ass off. Phil Hawes is the pick. Do you know what this, the odds open for this fight not going the distance? Under oh, one and a half is minus 250. But do you know what the odds were for it does not go the distance on this fight? What fucking minus? I think it was minus thirteen hundred or minus fourteen hundred. I mean, it makes crazy sense. Crazy because there is a world where Phil just coming lays up all on these him losses, like this is just just goes to his wrestling and he's not really a finisher on the ground. Right, he's not a ground and pound guy. He's not a submission threat and just kind of turns this into a wrestling match and it goes the distance. You could have got that for like plus eight hundred. I think for a touch of value there, there was a sprinkle. It's come down to minus seven hundred now. So it did get bet. I mean people were seeing the same type of thing. I mean that was crazy, crazy, crazy odds. But I agree. Phil Hawes again. Here we go. 
I am Phil Hawes in this situation. <laughs> like, I am the athlete. You've seen the Instagram. It's right there. If you want to go check out me and Phil Hawes look exactly the same. It's just the chin hits the issue. And I don't know how anyone can trust it at this point. If he comes in and wrestles, he could do that. I don't think he's going to wrestle, man. I think he's going to do what he's been doing. He's going to trust himself. And maybe he's able to find a resurgence. You know, we've seen kind of Garbrandt kind of come back and kind of play it safe for a little bit. And now he's kind of stringed together a couple wins, or two, two or three wins. I think just two wins. But, you know, maybe. But Bruno, Bruno, Bruno showed some ability to kind of scramble out of position versus Gregory Rodriguez. The dog was not. It's funny the, the camera. The camera's like, "What is at the door?" Yeah, what is that? That's why I was thinking. I was sitting here uh, earlier, and I was like, "Imagine if it just went boom, zoomed in behind you at like and there's nothing, a person, and then, yeah, or, or just like nothing, and it just thinks it sees a fucking face." So it's like, "Oh no, that's not a good situation." But um, yeah, Bruno showed a little bit of a good scrambling ability uh, against Gregory Rodriguez. So even if Phil Hall's wants to wrestle, I do think that there are abilities there. Um, and Bruno was also knocked out as well. I mean, it was a kind of a weird situation where he's kind of got his kick caught, and then he over the top, and then he really got his head beat in on the follow. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know if I really trust either one of these guys. I think the odds definitely make sense. It's probably, probably a pick them. Whoever lands the big power is probably going to win. But you know, there's a world where this turns into an over one and a half at the plus two hundred, and this goes into the second, third round. You know, both these guys coming off knockout losses that could both be tentative, and Phil wrestles, and there you go. He's twelve and five. I don't know how the hell I got the thirty six and seventeen. Is that Andre Olovsky's record? I think it's Jim Miller's. Oh, it's one of them. That could that could be. Because I think why. he's next, isn't he? Maybe yeah, probably. I do the graphics in order, so probably. Um, yeah, you fucked up. Who'd you pick, Phil? No, I picked. Uh, I'm going with Bruno. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. He's <laughs> he's got he's got power, and Phil's chin is is. Uh, Would you pick Phil? Correct. Yeah, I mean it makes. I, yes, correct. I just hate the wishy-washy. I just hate it. I made a clear pick. Nothing's wishy-washy. Yeah, but then um, when I Bruno, you were like, yeah, he probably does win. I just, I hate I, it. No, no, I said makes sense. I just hate it. Anyway, $7,900 in DraftKings, $8,300 in DraftKings. Whichever one you have in your lineup is going to score well. One of these men will score very well for you in your DraftKings lineup. So choose wisely. Maybe not a cash lineup. I mean, it's... Oh, man. I mean, Bruno Fajeda is the safer pick if you're positive Phil Hawes' chin is 100% gone. But if you can trust the chin a little bit, think there's a little bit of wrestling in there, Phil Hawes is going to be the pick, $7,900. Pick your side in this fight. Whoever wins this fight is going to score really well in DraftKings. If you want to check out all the bets, the picks, the round line leans, and everything else, we want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. It is only $10 hairs a month. I'll be rude for Phil. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.